Welcome to DJ Ellis Nerd Talk and our first episode of Fan Friday. This is gonna be our weekly comic related show where we pretty much talk all things comics, movies, TV shows, and the actual books themselves. So when I was trying to come up with today's topic, I kept thinking of the same exact thing over and over and over and over again. Marvel is doing another reboot another reboot this reboot for some reason though has me really really excited see the other reboots the past couple of years i've just been kind of indifferent about like oh yeah they're just doing a number one who cares but this one i'm kind of getting excited for it's a new lineup a fresh start is what they're calling it and honestly it's got me kind of excited i've kind of taken a back seat to the comic reading i've kind of chilled out on it in a couple years but this has gotten me really, really excited. I am excited about the titles they got coming out. I'm going to name off a few right now. Black Panther number one, Captain America number one, Deadpool number one, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Sentry, a new lineup of the Avengers, the Immortal Hulk, a new Thor storyline, Venom, Spider-Man, and I'm pretty sure I'm missing a few. You know eventually you're gonna get a Fantastic Four because they did just announce that they're going to be added back into the lineup of Marvel Comics. So on top of that, you're probably gonna get a whole bunch more comics throughout the summer and announcements, especially around Comic-Con. But the thing that's got me most excited about this lineup and honestly just the fresh start take is that they're promising it to be this fresh start. In my opinion, if you're going to reboot comics, similar in the way that DC did with the New 52, love it or hate it, it did sell very, very well. Now, why is that? If you were a comic fan at the time, the Marvel and DC movies were getting really, really popular. You had the Nolan trilogy was finishing up, the Avengers had just come out, and a lot of people were wanting to see these characters again, but in the comic form. So where were you gonna start? On number 300 and something something? Or are you gonna start on uh, 580 something of Spider-Man? I don't know. Having a reboot the way that the New 52 did really helps with somebody who's never read a comic book before, who's wanted to get into it to, well, get into it without getting overwhelmed by the triple digit numbers or the thinking, oh, I've got years and years and years of comics to read up on. This number one does help out in thinking, oh, well, I can hop in on that. Let me do that. Well, here's the thing. Marvel's done that a couple of times at this point. And what makes this part a little bit different? The past couple reboots that Marvel's had, it's been almost continuations of some comics that they left off on prior. So with a series like The Superior Spider-Man, as good as it was, if someone's wanting to read about Peter Parker, sorry, that was Otto Octavius storyline. What if someone saw Thor for the first time and wanted to read the Thor comic? As awesome as the Jane Foster Thor was, that was the only Thor you were getting for a little bit. Same thing with Sam Wilson being Captain America. If you wanted to read about Steve Rogers, you still had to wait a while. And then when you did get him, he was hailing Hydra. Weird. This does seem like a good stepping point. And the fact that it's coming out around the time of Infinity War, where the hype train for comics and characters are going to be off the roof, I think this is a really, really good idea and a really good step in the right direction. I am genuinely excited about this lineup, and I am genuinely excited to get back into comic books. So... I know the titles I'm going to be picking up. I'm looking at a few of them right now. I'm definitely picking up Black Panther, Captain Marvel, Captain America, what, Doctor Strange, Venom for sure. Now the actual series, I don't know, we're going to have to see from there. And I will be here talking to you on Fan Friday, telling you all about them as I read them. I want to know what you guys are planning on actually picking up once these come out sometime in the summer. What are the titles you're gonna pick up at first? What number ones are you most excited about? What are some characters you guys think they should add into this lineup? Are you even excited about this? Or do you think it's just another reboot? You tell me what's up. Let's have this discussion in the comments below. Thank you for joining us on this first episode of Fan Friday. If you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, and hit the little bell notification so whenever me and my brother post anything, you guys know what's up. We do comics, video games, movies, you name it, we do it. Hope you guys have a fantastic night and thank you for joining me on Fan Friday.